Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to go over five things you definitely need to try out in Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button if you'd like to see more content like this. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing I recommend you to check out in Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 is the Derelict Reclaimer Space Missions. A variety of handcrafted, narratively unique missions that have been created for a new Derelict Reclaimer Rex site in space. This involves finding a Derelict Reclaimer out in space and infiltrating it to complete a specific objective. I find that it's a very immersive experience. When it comes to the sound, visuals, puzzles, NPCs, and a few surprises for players to find. One of these missions has the black site within the mission name, so make sure to grab it as soon as you see it. Up next is to visit the derelict colonialism outposts. New locations to visit and explore. You can find unique loot and possibly artifacts. The addition of artifacts in loot boxes, especially at derelict outposts, makes exploration much more interesting. Questions like what's its history, lore, or even who may be looking for these artifacts comes to mind. I'm sure there will be a few citizens looking for all of them just to collect. You can find these new colonialism outposts on Microtech. NBC AI could be on site defending these locations. For the first time in Star Citizen ever, NPCs will now utilize the new planetary nav mesh technology to navigate the terrains on a given planet. Upon your arrival on a derelict location, there is a possibility that NPC reinforcements will arrive. This entails a Cutlass Black arriving with nine tail guards inside to engage you and your crew. This is a huge step forward as this will open things up for other gameplay elements such as land vehicles, tanks, NPCs defending bunker exteriors and other sites. You can get these missions via the retrieval op mission under the general tab. Next is the Siege of Orson. The biggest dynamic event has now been added to Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2. This entails navigating multiple platforms on Orison to eliminate the nine tail leaders. This is a big FPS event with puzzles, loot, and vehicles. It's not only exciting to go up against tons and tons of nine tail NPCs, but it's a great way to work together with others and to make a lot of money. Make sure to get involved when this event is active. Up next is the Service Beacon Missions. Service Beacon Missions have had a much needed quality of life update in Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2. This time around they've added various levels starting with the low threat with small ships like the M50 all the way up to critical threat with the likes of the Hammerhead and the dreaded Idris. What's great about this mission set is the fact that the NPCs are very responsive, challenging and most importantly it pays well. Due to the fact that these missions are in space only, you can grind them and make a lot of money in a short period of time. This is a must try in Star Season Alpha 3.17.2. And last but not least, make sure you visit new space stations. New space stations have been added to the Lagrange Point Mike L2, 3, 4, and 5. I believe there are new ones also added for Artcorp as well. These locations are well put together with new textures for the asteroids. The space volumetric clouds look like they've been improved as well. Each of these space stations have unique layouts and shops. I encourage you to visit them every now and then. Let me know which of these you plan on doing first in Star Season Alpha 3.17.2 in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you on the next one.